Welcome happy campers, it's Amanda here with Cookville RV Marine and today we're going to take a look into Flagstaff's smallest bunkhouse, the 2021 Flagstaff E-Pro 16BH. Let's get going. Starting at the front, we're going to take a look at my favorite part, this awesome bike rack. It will hold two bikes which is perfect for a couple's camper. Also, you'll notice this gigantic windshield here in the front that is a window right next to our U-shaped dinette. And don't worry, that's automotive glass here as well. But let's look at the storage. Even though this is Flagstaff's smallest bunkhouse, it still has the storage. It's still a pass-through even though we got some things stored in here for now. But looking this way, they try to make up with the space by adding all of the storage they can, especially this side compartment. And then moving towards the rear, we have an outdoor shower, our city water connection, and our power here on the rear as well. Looking towards the back of the camper, we have another window look here that is on one of the bunks. It is kept for a backup camera. All you have to do is buy the backup camera and get it installed. One more spot for extra storage here in the back. And this camper does have a ladder on it as well. Now this is a good change for some of the older models where they put the ladder in front of the storage not sure why they did that, but they moved it to the side, so that's very convenient. And last, looking at our entertainment space, they did add this really nice fridge here, an Insignia fridge. Nice to keep your drinks cold while you're out on a hike. You don't have to get your camper all messy by going inside. You just get your drink from here. This camper does actually have an awning with a very nice LED light strip. This thing is going to look great at nighttime. It really lights up, and I love the colors on it as well. Uh, power connections here on the side right next to your door just in case you want to add a TV and your grill will set up here as well as an additional table but let's look inside. Before we step inside something super convenient is this keypad entry. So you're out on a hike you don't want to carry your keys you don't have to worry about losing them you can always get inside your camper as long as you know the code. Inside Flagstaff's smallest bunkhouse, they did make sure to add one slide here to get sort of your kitchen area off of the main floor. So there is some space here to move around. But where I'm sitting right now is our U-shaped dinette. Now this can be the main sleeping area. All you have to do is take this table, put it right down here on these pegs, and it turns into a very large sleeping space and pretty comfortable too. Nice storage up top. I love the windows surrounding so you don't have to get out of bed to check out what's going on outside. But across from the dinette is our entertainment area with a nice big TV on a swivel. So if you want to watch a movie after a long day of adventure, we have a speaker system, indoor and outdoor speaker, so you can listen to music all day and night long. Um, this does have a Wi-Fi ranger. It is solar prepped as well. It does have a solar panel right on top. All of your controls here for your water tanks and slides are easily connected. And they did add some more storage right when you walk in as well. Into our kitchen space, we'll notice we have a pretty good size fridge. It's just enough for the two or maybe even the four of you out on your weekend trip. A three burner top suburban stove top. And there's no actual stove here, but they do make sure to add in a microwave just so you can make sure to heat up your food. A hood range on top for those extra cooking and a very square stainless steel sink with a nice nozzle, a little bit of storage here on the top as well as here on the bottom, but the storage is lacking slightly in this camper. It's a small camper. It's what comes with it, but there's always other places to store things. Let's look at the pantry option for this camper. It's a pretty deep and you do have a hanging rod in here as well. If you wanted to take those storage shelves out and use it for your hanging your clothes, you can. Storage is multi-purpose in this camper, so whatever you need, use it. Looking towards our bunks, the bunks here are super comfortable and I love the added storage on this side. They do make sure to add in plenty of storage for all of your guests to have their own area and there's lights on each side as well. Now looking at the ladder, one thing you may have to notice is in order to get to our drawers here at the bottom, we have to take the ladder off, which that's not a huge big deal. It's right out of our way. But there are some drawers here for added storage. And if your guests didn't want to use their neat little pockets in their bunks, you could always use that for dishes. So let's look in the bathroom. A look into our bathroom in this camper it is a pretty good size. I love the storage up top with the mesh, just like above the U-shaped dinette. Large countertop space, which they put this on the side so you have extra countertop space, which is really handy. They added in a place for your toothbrush, also awesome. Extra storage for a medicine cabinet here. Nice foot flush toilet at the bottom with more storage, of course. 
Looking into the shower, it is a very nice size. I am 5'11", and I'm slightly into the skylight, but not too uncomfortable. I have plenty of room. If you'll notice, it actually steps into a small tub. Super convenient if you have an animal you need to bathe after your long hike. So this makes it pretty easy, and not to mention the removable shower head. I love that as well. Are you ready to adventure on your weekends in this EPRO? Visit us here at Cookville RV and Marine, or give us a call, or visit us online at cookvillerv.com. But don't forget, like this video, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification icon so you get notified every time we post a brand new video. But at Cookville RV Marine, your adventure awaits.